You're still in third grade, act like it. Pedometers on. Look at that agility. Look at that. Look at pick up those knees. Look like athletes or something. And as a teacher, you have to worry about how not to get your, ta your ropes all tangled up, right? When you pick them up, you put them away. Because they can make it.
turn around and face the other way because he's having to reverse it in his head. You'll get it. Just try. Go slow. That's it. Got to learn to jump rope, guys, because double dutch is hard. You got to get these foundation things down. Part We'll fix it after class. Just put it off the side and so you don't yeah. it probably just got old and but not too late, huh? I'm gonna blow my whistle for how many times I blow my whistle, I want you to get that back and move for Hold the camera for a second, I'm going to go get some carpet.
instead of having a line, we're going to go in a square. So you two people over here, you come here, and then you two guys over here, you're going to come here. So we're going to create a square with the Yeah, right, almost your back's yeah. touching. Yeah, so she's got to kind of like watch your leg. If you will hold this, I'm going to go get some carpet squares so people can kneel on the carpet. Okay. You've got to get most of the power. All right. Thank you so much. The main thing is don't hesitate between moving. You got to, you know, you got.
I believe the second group did better than the first. I think they beat you all. No. We'll see when the beat starts. Right. Get ready? You guys think you can do it? Do better than the first group? Uh -huh. That's it. Peter, start beat.
roll your ankle? I'm fine. What you gonna do? Like you teach it to you get back to the little beach kid in the club. You hang with me like that. No, I'm just saying. You're not a beast kid. Chinese chocolate. Okay. So these two you're going to put their ropes around two of your people. And you're going to have one person out. So what you're going to do, this one's called the American. American patriotic. Um, so all you're going to do is you're going to jump back and forth four times. And, just, and then you're going to go from there. So one, two, three, four. Then you're gonna land over here. So then you're gonna jump in with your feet in. And then you're gonna jump again with your feet out. And then feet in. And try and jump on the on the skipping rope. Yeah. Every guy, so we'll do it, we'll practice a few times. So, so you're gonna jump over four times. Out in, out in, out in, no. on. No. Out so in, yeah. out in, out in, out in, on. Yeah. So ready? This has been popular for years and years and years. Your grandmother even, even did this. Yeah. Until you get where you can't do it anymore. You got it? Yeah. So once you have it, switch up with the person on the outside and just keep going. What does this help with? Besides balance. balance, dynamic balance, and agility, rhythms. You got the scissor? It's harder. Ice cream cone's hard too. Sailboat? That wasn't the first time she ever did that. But they start when they're little, you know, and they, they do it for pretty much all elementary school. It's an elementary school thing. I got into watching Everybody what I have to do, and then I quit on double dutch. You see why did you practice jump rope? Yeah. Because so, you got to get the jump rope done. Yeah, it's, uh, I know everybody loves ice cream cones, so it's going to be so much better. So okay, yeah, sure. next one. So one person is going to have the rope around two feet, and then one person is going to have a one. So you take your one foot out. And you're going to do the same steps as the American, but obviously it's a little, little scary. Same thing. So you're going to be like one, two, three, four, and then in, out. Okay, so everyone want to try it? You watch the kids on YouTube, you'd be impressed. Yeah, they're amazing. <laughs> yeah. So what skills are we practicing? What, what are we building on right now? Why, do we want to pre why would we want to do this in elementary school? Ladders, they're fun, right? Speed agility, dynamic balance, cardiovascular endurance. Because you start doing this for a lot, you don't mess up, your heart rate goes up. Especially when you get it up at about knee level. Um, no, you're doing it like she did it right. I don't think she's ever seen it before. Yes. Well, it depends on what you're doing. Um, 
when you, we do that ta the tangled part, you have to stay in. But I think on the ice cream cone, your feet actually go out. But I'll have that's to go. That's how we used to do it. Yes, that's the way I always did it. Well, that's the same thing. If you don't mess up, you just keep raising it until somebody yeah, messes up. Right. Oh, that's how the game. Yeah. yeah, that's how the game is done. But we're just trying to learn the steps. So, of course, those little little tiny kids, little skinny tiny kids, tends to be better at it than ever, everybody else. I jump high. You look like you jump high. That she does. She's a jumper. Yeah, uh, let's see who can yeah. not mess up. If you if you keep going, if everybody gets through it once, then you raise it to knees. You just keep raising it till some till everybody's out except for one person. Let's see. Yeah, let's have a challenge. If you watch our video, like for our class, you will see some people jumping at armpit level. Some of the baseball teams could jump it. I'm mean, amazing. Their legs got up this high. I mean, like they would come up in a complete. But look, she's doing pretty good. Look. Nice job. Look at that. AJ's got a very uh, good advantage. See, tall is good in this thing. Oh, he messed up. Also, having big feet's a nice thing because you can catch those Victoria, ropes. What do you, what do you do? Look at Val over there. Look at him. Oh my. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Will he make it? Oh, he messed up. Okay, let Justin try. Don't mess up your back trying to jump up too high. We're not really little kids anymore, you know? Yeah. Woo, look at that. Look at him go. Look at that. Hey, he caught it. Look at, go Hunter, go Hunter. Oh, Hunter got it. Keep going. Oh, look at her go. Oh, come on. Come on. Go, 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 go. She can do it. She can do it. Come on. Hey, she, she matched him. Woo. Hey, look who's getting their heart rate up today. Getting their steps in. Come on, Drew. Yes! Wait, hold on. I'm going to go to Oh! <laughs> I think you need to get some little short people to put it on your waist, not some big tall people to put it on their waist. You know. Come on. Oh! Oh my goodness gracious. Look at that. Let's move on. Good job. That's so good juggle. Practice our juggle. And then I need you to get uh, where the scarves are, where the dots are. Look who had this class already and learned how to juggle. How many semesters ago was that? Okay. Two semesters. So. Okay, so right now, I'm going to work on the progressions. So I'm going to drop two scarves. Or two V-bags, whichever. So we're just going to practice tossing with one hand. So instead of, unlike the other one where you toss around and make an X, you're going to toss straight up. Okay, just practice tossing straight up. And keep it in front of you too, it makes it a lot easier. I want it all! I want it all! 
Yes, we're going to be doing push-ups, sister. Yeah. Yes, it's called. Yes, it's a column. Look at that! Look! Oh, I break. I turned my camera too soon. Good job! Good job! Go, Victoria! <laughs> it's called column juggling. Keep the one in the middle. Two, one, two, one, two, one. Two, then one. Two, then one. Two and one. I thought it was two. Okay. 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 Okay.